everyone. In this video, we will be writing quadratic equation given a real life situation. This is the second part. I will put the link of the first part in the description box below. So just to give you a difference between the first part and the second part, the first part talks about parabola that opens downward, while this second part talks about the parabola that opens upward. So let's take this first example right here. A cross-section of a parabolic satellite dish has a width of 14 feet and its depth is 5 feet. Sketch the cross-sectional view of the dish and find the equation of the parabola that models it. Use 0, 0 as one of the end points. So usually um, parabolic satellite are actually facing a uh, parabolic satellite f opens upward. So we're going to have the first step. In the first, uh, so we're gonna have the first step. So I'm just gonna label this as S1 right here. So um, the first step states that we sketch the graph and label the three points of the graph. We determine the vertex HK and use one of the other two points as XY and plug the values into the graphing form or vertex form of a um, quadratic equation, which is Y equals A parentheses X minus H squared plus K and solve for A. So that's the first step. I know it's a mouthful, but we are going to go over it and see how do we go about the first step. So part of the first step is to sketch the graph. So we start, uh, it says here, that we use one of the uh, points as uh, 0, 0 as one of the endpoints. So we're going to have here the x and y axis. So this is our y and this is the x. So we're going to use one of these as the endpoints of the uh, cross section of this parabolic uh, satellite dish. So what are we going to do is I am going to draw that um, parabolic dish that looks like this. So it's opening upward. So um, part of this step is to determine the vertex the uh, and the point x, y. So after we've drawn this, we are supposed to label the parts. First, uh, it says here that the width of this dish is 14 feet. That means from this end all the way to the other end is 14 um, feet. So I'm just going to label that. That's 14 feet right there. And then it says that the depth of this dish is five feet so i go ahead and write five feet right here so that's the depth okay now we are going to label the three points and these are the three points in this um picture so this is the first point this is the second point and this is the third point so these are the three points now we're going to label each of these points so this one is at zero zero so it's at the point of origin this one right here is um this is going to be if we look at this point x and y on the x it's half of 14 which is seven and then the uh, y value for this, remember that it's on the negative y, so this 5 is negative. So that's going to be negative 5. And this one right here would be the x here is 14, and then the y is 0. So these are the coordinates of the three points. Once we have all of these points, again, part of the step is to um, plug the values of x, y, and h, k to the a graphing form or vertex form of a quadratic equation. This one is our vertex. So I'm just going to label this as the HK. Now to, to have the XY value, you can pick any of these two. It doesn't matter. You can have this as XY or you can have this as XY, but I'll give you a trick. The fastest way is to use the zero zero so that we can save time in doing the math. So let's just take this as our XY. Again, you can use this as x y but this again the the trick is to use this to make to make the calculation fast so then we are now ready to plug this value x y h k into the vertex form or graphing form of a quadratic equation which is y equals a x minus h squared plus k so we plug in the values our y here is zero so i plug the zero in and then our A is missing, our X is, so it's gonna be zero, so I plug the zero in, 
and then our H is seven, so that's gonna be a minus seven, and then our K is gonna be um, negative five, so I can just go ahead and write minus five, because again, the H is seven, and then the uh, K is negative five, and then from here, we are supposed to solve for a. So we can go ahead and say this is zero is equal to zero minus um, seven is um, negative seven. So that's a negative seven squared minus five. So then I'm just gonna um, um, continue that work up here. So what's gonna happen here would be I square this, so that would be um, 49. So this comes out zero is equal to 49a minus five. Again, the part of the first step is to determine the value of a. So then we can go ahead and add five to both sides plus five. So then we can go ahead and cross the five out. We are left with five equals 49a. We want a, so we're dividing 49 from both sides divide this by 49, so then we are left with a is equal to five over 49. So this is our value for a. So the second step is to write the equation with the form y equals a parentheses x minus h squared plus k, where you plug in the values of a h and k so then the final equation that we're gonna have here would be y is equal to our a is 5 over 49 and then that's x our h is 7 so that's minus 7 squared our k is negative 5 so that's a minus 5 so this is the equation that models the shape of this satellite parabolic dish now on the side, you will see the Desmos version for this problem right here. We have the three points that matches to the picture that we have here. So that's gonna be zero, zero. The vertex is seven, negative five. And then the other end point is 14, zero. So this is the equation that models this parabolic satellite dish. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. A U-dip, a cement structure embedded into the ground, is a popular attraction in skateboard park. Suppose the cross-sectional view of this U-dip is a parabola with a depth of 10 feet and a width of 36 feet. Sketch the cross-sectional view of the U-dip and find the equation of the parabola that models it. Use zero, zero as one of the endpoints. We start with step one. So step one, we sketch the graph and label the three points on the graph and we determine the vertex HK and use one of the other two points as X, Y. We usually use the zero, zero and plug the values into the graphing form or vertex form and we solve for A. So that's step one. So we're gonna go over this. So this is our X and Y axis. So um, it, it says that this um, U dip is actually a parabola that opens upward. So we can go ahead and draw a parabola that opens upward like that. And then we uh, label the part. So first it says that the width is 36 feet. So I'm just gonna write 36 uh, feet right here. So it starts from one end to the other end of the U dip. It says that the depth of this uh, U-dip is 10 feet, so I'm gonna write 10 feet right here, so that would be 10 feet right there. And we are now ready to determine the coordinates of the three points, so that's the first point, this is the second point, this is the third point. So we can go ahead and say that the first point is zero, zero. This is the vertex, which is, um, the coordinate for this would be half of 36, which is, 18, so I'm gonna write 18, and then it says that this is under the ground, so that's uh, below the, uh, on the uh, negative y axis, so that is a negative 10. 
And then this one right here is the end point. The X here is 36. And then the Y is zero. So then part of the first step is to label the HK and the XY. So we will have, this is the vertex HK. And again, you can use this as XY, you can use this as XY, but the trick is we better use this to make the calculation fast. So let's just have this as our XY. So part of the first step is to plug this value HK and XY into the vertex form of a quadratic equation, which is Y is equal to A, parentheses X minus H squared plus K, where we are going to solve for A once we plug in the X, Y, and H, K. So first we have our Y is zero, is equal to A, our X is zero, minus our H is 18, and then that's a squared, our K is negative 10. So the next thing that we do is simp we simplify this, so that's zero equals A, parentheses negative 18 squared minus 10. So then I can go ahead and do the uh, rest of the work up here. So negative 18 times negative 18 would become a positive. So this would come out zero equals, um, that's gonna be A times, uh, again, this one is 324, negative 18 times negative 18. So I can just go ahead and write positive 324 A minus 10. So then I can go ahead and solve for A by adding both sides by 10 plus 10 to both sides here. So then we can go ahead and cross out the 10. We're left with 10 equals 324A. We want to solve for A. So then we divide both sides by 324. Divide this by 324 so we can cross this out. So our A is, um, that's going to be 10 over 324. Both of these 10 and 324 are divisible by two, so we can reduce this. This would come out to be five over 162. So that's 162 right here. So this is our A value. Second step is to write the equation of the form Y equals A parentheses x minus h squared plus k, where we plug in the value of a, h, and k to find the equation that models this u dip right there. So then the equation would finally come out to be y equals, our a is 5 over 162, and then we have x, our h is 18, so that's a minus 18 squared, and our k is negative, 10. So this is the equation that models this U dip up here in this problem. Now on the side, you will see the Desmos version for this problem. You can see that uh, the three points would match. So that is zero, zero at the point of origin. The vertex is 18, negative 10. Uh, the other end point is 36, zero. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.